uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, organic compounds. Organic compounds, um, basically, these are made, uh, they are made up of uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Not only that, but some contain nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. So as long as it is an organic compound, then it must contain all of these ones. Some of them, they have an extra of this. It does not mean that they have all of them, but it could be maybe one or two uh, among these ones. But this one, it's a must that they're supposed to be there. And then you see the examples of uh, organic compounds or molecules. Number one, we have carbohydrates. We're going to look at this one in detail. When we talk about carbohydrates, basically you're talking about the starch the, in, in, in plants and the glycogen in, in, in animals, uh, cellulose, uh, cellulose. So those are examples of carbohydrates. Then you have lipids. Here we are talking about uh, the oils, oils. So like uh, the pets in animals and then um, the oils in, in, pl uh, in plants. Then we have uh, proteins. Proteins can also be modified into enzymes. Proteins are basically for structures, uh, just to make up uh, the body structure, but can also be used for different functions like enzymes, like hormones, they are also proteins in nature. So they are protein in nature. Then uh, we have hormones. Uh, it's, yes, it's also an example of, of, of protein, but we'll see them uh, separately. Uh, and then we say that uh, nucleic acid. Nucleic acid is also an example of uh, organic compounds. Nucleic acids, these are DNA and RNA. So the genetic makeup of an individual Basically, it is um, a DNA, which is an example of uh, a nucleic acid. Then vitamins uh, these are very important, uh, just needed in small amounts, but they bring about the normal functioning of the body. So they're also uh, examples of organic uh, compounds. So now let's look at uh, carbohydrates uh, in detail. Uh, these carbohydrates are made up of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Actually, their name carbohydrates is derived from um, uh, the elements it's made up of. It's only carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, no extra uh, molecule. It is carbo, which means carbon, and hydrate. Hydrate is derived from a water, which is made up of uh, oxygen and hydrogen. So two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule um, uh, or atom, then they form uh, hydrate, the water molecule. So carbohydrates are made up of carbon, which is this carbon, and then hydrate, which is water and is made up of oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, what are some of the uses of carbohydrates? Number one, stores energy. Energy can be stored in the form of starch, that is case of plants, and glycogen in case of, of animals. So you'll find out that in starch, the food you eat in most especially uh, like um, maize, uh, sorghum is made up of uh, carbohydrates, made up of starch. Uh, however, if this uh, food is a little bit sweet, it means that uh, the starch has been converted into glucose, which is a little bit sweet. So um, starch uh, is an example of a carbohydrate in plants, and then glycogen is an example of carbohydrate carbohydrates uh, in, in animals in a storage form. And you can find this in the liver, muscles, and other cells. Then uh, number two, they provide energy. When you break down this into glucose, and you break down this into glucose, uh, then the glucose can be used during cell respiration uh, to produce uh, energy in the mitochondria. Or in the mitochondria, if you're talking about many mitochondria. So, so uh, uh, basically, um, uh, carbohydrates is a source of, of, of energy. So it can, you can store the energy, use it later, or you can uh, use it uh, immediately. So it's a source of, uh, of energy. Number three, it provides this structure uh, and protection 
uh, of the of the cell. It 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 make it makes up uh, a structure of the cell and also provides uh, protection. If you look at the cell wall in plants, are made up of a cellulose. Cellulose is an example of a carbohydrate. Therefore, uh, carbohydrates can also be used for uh, protection. So basically, it stores energy, provides energy when it breaks down uh, the glucose, you produce uh, energy for the normal functioning of the body. And then you have a structure, make up the structure of the cell and also protection if you look at uh, the cell walls. Uh, let's look at uh, the types or classes of, of, of carbohydrates. Number one, we have what's called the monosaccharides. Mono means one, saccharides means sugar. So it's the sugar made up of one molecule. Um, uh, basically, uh, if you look at the, here is the structure of, 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 of that sugar. Then you have disaccharides. Di means two, saccharides means sugar. So it has two molecules of, 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 of monosaccharides. Then you have polysaccharides, means many sugars, many molecules of, 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 of sugar or, or monosaccharides. So examples here, you'll find out that. Um, example of, of monosaccharides, you'll find out you have glucose and uh, fructose. These are examples. And then you have disaccharides, examples you can find out in uh, maltose. Maltose is an example of, of uh, is an example of disaccharides, and the sucrose is an example of uh, disaccharide. Then, uh, then you have uh, polysaccharides, uh, starch, cellulose, and glycogen examples of uh, polysaccharides. So it means that if this it is made up of two, because we said it two, so maltose is made up of two glucose molecules, while uh, sucrose is made up of one glucose molecule and one fructose molecule. So there are two of them. And then starch is made up of many glucose molecules, same as uh, cellulose is made up of many glucose molecules, but arranged in a different form. So to form uh, these uh, kinds of, of molecules. Then uh, you need to know that the smallest or simplest unit of any substance is called a building block. Like the, if you look at a house, it has bricks. So the building blocks of a house is called a brick. So uh, sometimes in, in science, we call it monomers. So what are the monomers here? So we say that the monomer of carbohydrate is uh, a monosaccharide. An example is a glucose molecule. So it's a monomer of, of, of carbohydrates. Uh, let's look at how do you test for starch? How do you test for starch? Starch is being uh, tested by using iodine solution. To show the presence of starch, then if starch is present, it will turn blue black. So if starch is present, it will turn like this. It looks black here, but if you shake it, it becomes blue. If you look at uh, the top of it, you find out that it has blue-like some uh, color there. So it, it is not that blue, it's not that black. Yeah, so it is just blue black. That's why we say it's blue black. It has a blue color if you try to shake it. It's just that it's just dark, dark color. And if starch is absent, it will remain yellow or orange depending on the concentration of iodine. So if starch is absent, it's negative, then you'll find out that it looks like this. If starch is present, yes, then it will look like this. Your sample will look like this. Or it can be a little bit, it can be, uh, or it could be a little bit lighter depending on the amount of starch you find in the sample you have tested. Then you have a glucose test. Here we use what's called a Benedict solution. Benedict solution, uh, if it is, is present, if uh, glucose is present, it will turn from blue to green to yellow. It could be green to yellow, green or yellow, orange, and then uh, red or brown, depending on the concentration. So it will turn from green, orange, and then red or brown. Or it will turn from yellow, orange, and then um, and then red. So it will, it's like this. It will turn from blue. It will go to um, green, or it could be green or yellow, and then to go to orange, and then to go to uh, red. But to get this, 
in most cases you need to warm it up so that uh, the reaction is a little bit faster so if it is negative to remain blue like this then when it is blue then we know that it is negative glucose glucose uh, is not present in that kind of uh, sample you are trying to test but if it is present it will turn from blue to green to orange and then goes to uh, red Thank you.